Hey, what's up, the two people that watch these videos? I'm glad that you're here to watch me open these three crates that all arrived within a day of each other. Um, I don't really know which one's which, other than obviously Loot Crate, Loot Crate DX, and Loot Gaming, because it's on the box. So, not that hard to figure out. But, um, I'm pretty sure that I just opened a Loot Gaming one not too long ago, which I labeled the June crate. But I only have a May of one of these and a May of one of these. So is this June, June, July? Or is this one soups? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll find out when I open them. It'll be on the inside. It'll say what month it is. Uh, I haven't really paid that much attention before to see if it says what month it, it is on the little paper. But, um, I'm just going to open all three of them in this video for fun. For funsies. To try something different. So we'll start with this loot crate since it's all top. Uh, and as you can see, it can hardly contain itself with this trying to, to bust out already. Amazing. It must be so amazing. And I'm using my Ninja Turtle pizza cutter as my opener of choice today. Which will not be a problem, so shut up. I don't want to hear it. Shut up. See? Watch, listen, play, share, enjoy more of power. Power. It says power. Did I point at that right? I can't tell. So let's see. We got. Ooh, it's a sweater. It's a sweater. with uh, that guy on it. Martian Phoenix. Martian Phoenix. <laughs> uh, oh, and here's my... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, this isn't a loot crate at all. This is my pre-order from when I bought this thing. This is the uh, head, I'm pretty sure. Since I pre-ordered that on Loot Vault, since I didn't get the first Fallout crate, and this was like the only way that you could get it, unless you went to eBay or something, but... Well, fuck. There it is! The head! So that was, that was worth the wait. And again, Vault 126. You shot that, Frank! Get a goddamn So, okay, so I, I have all of the pieces so far. That's good. And that sweatshirt. I, uh... I guess I never did get that in the mail, even though I ordered that a long time ago. Strange. Strange how easily we forget. Alright, so on to the real things, maybe? We'll go with the loot gaming. So these, these two boxes are really not that differently sized. But this one is significantly heavier. So hopefully it lives up to its deluxe name. Loot Gaming. Loot Gaming. Well, it's just a shirt. It's just a shirt that says fucking Loot Crate. Huh. 
<sighs> Thank you for signing up for one year of awesome loot made exclusively for 12 month subscribers. I signed up for this like three months ago. Welcome to an exclusive club for people who know they deserve awesome pop culture gear and collectibles delivered to their door all year round. As a token of our appreciation, please accept this stylish looter tee made exclusively for... Well, this is starting to make more sense now because um, I didn't think that I was due those boxes yet. So, this should be a real one, though. Should be. I can't see how it would be anything else. But I've been wrong before. <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. So, we'll start with the shirt. Ooh, it's long-sleeved. Stay puffed. Stay puffed. No. S'mores kit. I ain't afraid of no roasts. Colossal taste. Packed with ectoplasmic happy thoughts. I'll wear that. Next we have... What is this? Where are these? Universal kit. UN... I don't know what this is. Little Gundam guys? But there's two of them. There's two of them! What's in there, though? I'm so confused. I guess I'll open one. There's his little, little body. Let's see if it's the same body that's in this one. It's got a different number. Oh, this is all red pieces. Look at that little, that little guy. I think I have some kind of fucking nerd. What is this? InGen. That's Jurassic Park, right? <laughs> look at those. Look at those socks. <laughs> oh, look at the bottom. It's got little feet or arms. I don't know what the fuck those are. Alright. Then we have a poster of some sort. Infinite. Since 1973. Ooh. It's got a number on the bottom. It must be limited. Look, it's our good pal Thanos with his 100,000 gauntlet. And this is a very strange material for this poster. It's like straight up computer paper. I guess I'll have to get it framed. And we have a book. Kong on the Planet of the Apes. What? Is this a crossover? King Kong and Planet of the Apes? It's a comic book. I mean, <coughs> a graphic novel. As you can see, it's novel-like with graphics. And we have a pin. It's a uh, Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus Rex, and we have the 618, so it's the June, this is the June box, the June box, Jurassic Park socks, 
Kong on the Planet of the Apes trade paperback. Ah, I was wrong. Calling it a graphic novel. I'm an idiot. Stay Puffed long sleeve t-shirt. Gundam figures. I'm not going to put those things together. Jeez. Um, the Jurassic World Stegosaurus pin. And the Loot Crate original Thanos art print. Well, that's that's great. That's amazing. This was called the Colossal Crate. That was the theme. Colossal. I guess that makes sense. Everything's big. Marshmallow Man's big. Kong is big. Gundams are big. Dinosaurs can be big. Velociraptor's not big, though. Idiots. Fucking idiots. Um, Alright. Well, that was that box. I guess I know how to... Clever girl. Well, I guess I know what to label it this time. Now that I've opened all of the boxes and know that two of the three were not whatever the thing, the thing. So that was the um, June Loot Crate DX box. And once again, uh, I feel like the Geek Fuel box was better. I do like the long sleeve shirt though. I like that it's not just a simple t-shirt. I like that. Um, but outside of that, eh, eh, half and half. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me open packages like, like a kid opening Christmas presents. Isn't it fun? Whee! So join me next time when I open another box and see what's in there. <laughs>